Hey kids, if you like stories, check us out on the World Wide Web. You'll find ideas for beginning storytellers, a sing-along story, and a read-aloud story to share with family, friends, and classmates. How do you find us? Just enter this URL. www.loiswalker.com and so, like those Bremen Town musicians, I'm going to gather up my crew and we're going to head off to the general store. Come on, everybody, let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. So follow me, follow me, there is no time to dally Take the royal blue bus, it's a coming down the alley Make sure you got your ticket and a smile, not a frown Then join us on our journey through Tallatale Town So follow me, follow me, rush right through the door Take the royal blue bus to the general store Bring your love a story and a smile and a frown Then hear another tale from Tell a Tale Town Hey! Hello! Hello. Oh, Come right, on buddy. in! Buddy. Sit down and I'm going to tell you the story of the Echo and the Flower Now once upon a time there was a beautiful girl named Echo And everyone who saw her noticed her Especially the young men But for some reason Echo wasn't very popular. Now she wasn't mean or bossy or selfish. It was just that she talked a little too much. Okay, she talked a lot too much. <laughs> In fact, she talked so much that no one could stand to be around her. It got to the point where Juno, goddess of the heavens, decided that something had to be done. And so she went down to Earth to Echo's cottage. But when she got there, Echo just kept talking and talking and talking and finally... Juno lost her patience, and when Juno loses her patience, Juno loses her temper. Echo, I had come here to tell you to stop talking so much, but I now see that that would be impossible. So, from now on, you will never say your own words again. You will only repeat those of others. Well, Echo didn't know what this meant. So she went to the village, and there she saw her friend Demetrius. And Demetrius said, hello. And Echo said, hello. hello. And Demetrius said, how are you? And Echo said, how are you? Well, Demetrius didn't really want to play copycat games, so he went back to his home in the village. Well, Echo was left all alone, and she didn't know what to do, so she went off into the forest, and there she spent the night alone. But in the morning, she saw a young man named Narcissus walking through. He was a handsome hunter, and... When he was ready to aim, he heard a noise. He looked over, and there was Echo. And so he called out to her. Who are you, he said. Who are you, Echo repeated. Where are you from, said Narcissus. Where are you from, said Echo. <laughs> well, Narcissus was in a lousy mood. He had been hunting all day and hadn't caught a darn thing. So he stomped further into the woods, leaving Echo alone again. Well, Echo didn't know what to do, so she ran off into the mountains. And there, Juno took pity on her and changed her into stone. And there, she could repeat and echo the sounds of the mountains. As for Narcissus, Juno was not too impressed with his behavior. So one day, when he was admiring himself over a pool of water, she cast a spell on him that would make him fall madly in love with himself. Now, Narcissus was already conceited. This just made it worse. <laughs> So he stood there, hour after hour, day after day, admiring his fabulous self, until he had wasted away to nothing, and where he had been grew the beautiful Narcissus flower. And that's how today we get the echo and the Narcissus flower. Aww. Tales are always being told in Teletale Town, even at the train station. Jessica is telling a tale today. Let's listen. Thank you. 